For years, we've known that dieting, extreme dieting, known as caloric restriction, has led to longer, healthier lives in lab animals. The proof? These very old and very fit monkeys at the University of Wisconsin. Looking at two monkeys that are about the same age, which is 28 years old, which is about a year past the average lifespan of rhesus monkeys. At the National Primate Research Center in Wisconsin, Professor Rick Weindrick suits up and shows us the results of nearly a career's worth of research. We have to wait uh, 30 to 40 years for uh, our lifespan data to uh, be final in the monkeys. We are getting there and we are getting meaningful, uh, statistically robust differences. Colleagues call him the most patient scientist in his field. While others have proven the benefits of CR or caloric restriction in everything from yeast to worms to mice, for decades, Weindruck has been studying its effects on monkeys with their longer lifespans and their similarities to humans. The one on the left has been uh, subjected to caloric restriction roughly for the last uh, 20 years since the uh, experiment began. Uh, th this animal is eating 30% fewer calories than it ate uh, prior to the start of the study. Since it was first stumbled on in the 1930s, CR has been a foundation in aging research. Researchers say this type of calorie cutting seems to turn on a sort of genetic survival switch. We think it's really quite clear that for the large majority of the monkeys on calorie restriction, they look younger than those on the normal diet that are the same age. But Weindruck says its benefits are much more than just skin deep. And we're seeing roughly a four times greater risk of developing age-related diseases in the animals on the normal diet as opposed to those subjected to caloric restriction. Age-related diseases that include cancers, diabetes, the list is well known. And just this past month, Weindruck's team made another discovery. Brain scans of the CR monkeys, when compared to their well-fed counterparts, showed significantly less atrophy or cell loss along the surface of the brain, which could potentially add another age-related illness to the list, Alzheimer's disease. While the brain shrinks with normal aging, that rate is doubled in people with Alzheimer's. Weindruck says the recent findings are significant. Aging. It's not about picking off one disease at a time. It's about uh, quieting this whole broad threshold of problems that uh, stem from these, this common process which we call aging.